Hello everyone, this is Mohammed, and today let's talk about agent to agent or A2A protocol. So Google has introduced the A2A protocol, which um, I assume is already promising in the space of AI. So I'm sort of exploring the use case of A2A with the, uh, the use of MCP and see how I can merge this together and uh, make use of this agentic uh, AI workflows. So in today's video, what I have done is I've divided this video into two parts. There is one part which is the, the theory side and then there is another part which is the practical. Okay. So if you ask me like why do we need A2A, um, that, that, that I guess the very simple answer to this is that today there are many companies they are trying to build these agents and they tend to work within their own ecosystem whereas this this protocol it helps to bridge the gap between these different vendors or application and they are they can tend to talk with each other okay so if you look into the video or if you, sorry if you look into this link to this um, documentation from google uh, which was been released in the month of april this year um, which has quite a lot of details and then you can see that there are more than 50 technology partners they are already leveraging the use of um, a2a And what we are going to um, make use of uh, with the help of this A2A, uh, this is where I put this um, demonstration here. Um, so what I have done is that I built a simple uh, application um, within Rabbit. Uh, the purpose, I'm calling this agent as like a clash detector. Okay, um, what it is supposed to do is that it has multiple sub agents within um, this agent. So if we kind of break this down into a task, so the larger ta the larger task here is to do the coordination, and we will t we are trying to break them into different sub tasks. So for instance, when I run this class detection, so there is an agent that identifies the um, the clashes with between the model and for the sake of this example I've just focused only on two, two main um, dis disciplines one is structures and the other one is the mechanical okay you can similarly uh, tend to have more of these agents for the architecture for the um, the ID or any other um, sub disciplines okay and then there is also a negotiator agent that helps to mediate between the two different disciplines Okay, so as an example, this is a UI of the application here. So when you run this plugin, what it does is that it will scan your model, identify if there is a clash between the specific categories like pipe or um, ducts or beams, and then user has the flexibility to assign this to the agent. And once you assign that to the agent, um, the negotiation agent it tries to uh, communicate between these two sub-agents which are the structure and the MEP and then you have the flexibility to um, apply the resolution and then there is another interface here that gives you the log of the summaries okay so let's try to run this agent so now you can see that there is a beam and then there are two pipes and a duct here they all are clashing here okay so when I run this application what it does is that it tells me that currently within the model so you can see that there are three different um, agents here so the system is ready here which means that I have already executed the the, um, the first agent which is supposed to run the clash detection and identify if there are clashes and it gives you the summary here where it says that there is a duct with the framing there is a clash and gives you the element ID similarly there are two for the pipes and it gives you the element ID and it sort of gives you the timestamp and tells you th the summary that there are three clashes which has been detected okay so if i close this window and just to give another example here where let's see i'll try to resolve one of these clash here so let me try to just 
on this plugin which I'm trying to create a bend here okay now there is no clash here so the system should be able to identify only two clashes now there is one here and then there is another here so if I go back here and rerun so earlier we had three now we got two clashes left okay so now what I'm trying to do within this uh, space is that Where is the window? Okay, let me try to close this. I think because of this um, the recording, this seems to be an issue. Okay. Um, okay, so what I'll try to do here is that this assigned to the agent is pending now uh, because I want this to be more... Um, uh, flexible so that I can see where the clash is and highlight that specific items within the model so now when I say that highlight it highlights this uh, items and then I can assign this to an agent so when I assign this to an agent it says that there is a clash between pipes and uh, framing has been assigned to an agent you can see the summary so the summary describes that there are agent and you can see that there is a timestamp which has been logged here um, where they are trying to negotiate between the specific clash okay and then I can apply the resolution so the resolution is currently pending as it says here you can see that this is already assigned but the resolution is currently pending so when I click on apply resolution so the, it seems like the pipe has been moved below so you can see that it says that the move the pipe has been moved by 150 mm below so now when we look here you can see that there is no clash here now and if I look for the AI summary which which sort of already giving it here um, but if I need a further summary ex I can eventually added so this is just a demo of what I'm trying to build um, but there are so many other use cases so you might have an agent for classification you might have another agent for model checking etc so there are quite a lot of the use cases that you can um, make use of this um, this protocol all right, so with this, I'll conclude my video and I really hope that you like it and um, thank you for watching.